Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video here today. Today, I'm going to be going over the top three must-have features that GTA must have for the new generation of consoles, the Xbox Series S and the X and the PS5 and the PS5 Digital. I'm not sure why it's named all of them. Anyway, let's get right into it here today. And uh, here we go. Uh, so for the first one, you guys already know what I'm about to talk about. I'm going to be talking about the good old manual transmission yes give us an option rockstar please that'd be freaking awesome uh let's just separate a lot of things i did make a video about this i believe a long time ago but go ahead and check that one out i talked about it uh the other thing dynamic uh construction around the uh city uh please finish the mile high building i believe that's what's called i may, I may be wrong but It'd be pretty cool to just see things around the world being, like, constructed. Or even if you don't add that, give us an option where we can, like, destroy buildings. They, like, fall back down. Just, you know, Battlefield style. I think that'd be pretty cool. Now, I'm not really sure how that would work online. I could just imagine the amount of lag and just frame rate and all types of issues going on with that. But I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that they should really go back and add is to director mode. Now, not many people really use director mode. I know I do a lot, and there's many other people out there that do actually use it to make little films and stuff like that. Basically, the stuff that you see on Instagram, you know, where people steal each other's posts, you might see it on there every once in a while, but, uh... It'd be pretty cool there to go back and add a lot more other features to director mode. And it's honestly one of the features that I've been looking forward to for Rockstar to add to Red Dead. I was about to say Red Dead Online. Uh, RDR2. I think it'd be pretty cool. Very underrated feature. Uh, just add a lot more other features, you know, like uh, weather dynamics and just a whole lot of... You can do a lot of things with it. It's like a massive sandbox you know, just creative mode for, just for GTA 5. I think that'd be pretty cool. And uh, I think that's all I really wanted to go over with. Those are the top three things that pop out out of my head, just come up. And uh, yeah, made this whole video in one take. Let's go. And catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. And I'm out to burp. Uh, never mind, it passed. And uh, yeah, peace.